But I will say to Mr. Mason Francis Kirk Dijon in Paris, do I need to pull up? Because why don't we have a gentle fluidy go, Paramus? <laughs> Hey guys, Nikki here and I'm back with another perfume video. This time we will be discussing, slow down, we will be discussing hair perfume, hair mist. I'm finally bringing you guys my collection and I think you all will enjoy it. So if you're ready, let's go. So first off, let's just start by saying that in order for me to have a hair perfume, I have to have the fragrance. Like, I have to. So that will tell you that all of my hair perfume I absolutely love because I'm not going to buy it if I don't love the fragrance that it go with or it pairs with or whatever. Not pairs with, but that the fragrance let's just say that so i used to think that hair perfume was hair perfume because it did not involve alcohol damaging the hair and then one of you guys told me that some of it do contain um alcohol it's just not as high level as a perfume would be so i guess that will be the difference um it's not as potent as perfume it's like a lighter airier version of a perfume it's not as expensive as perfume at all like i even say if it's a good hair mist you probably can get that hair mist and substitute buying the perfume because a hair mist is not gonna run you any more than 90 dollars um they start at like 35 dollars depending on the brand so yeah um i use other things in my hair as well and one of them is my dossier fragrances i use my dossier fragrances for everything you guys know that i spray my pillows with them my linen with them um my plant my faux plants with them and I just love Dossier, so they will be sponsoring this video, of course. I just pulled out the good old Ambery Saffron to show you guys as if you don't know what Dossier is, especially if you watch my channel. This is 1.7 fluid ounces. Ambery Saffron smells just like Baccarat. Their bottles start at $29 a bottle. There's a magnetic top. There's a buy it, try it. If you don't like it, you can return it. And this is where my Ambery Saffron is guys i don't know why i go through these ambery saffrons so much i guess because it's just so universal i grab it when i need a quick scent i grab it when i need a quick spray in my hair i grab it when i need and so this is like probably the 15th bottle so i love dossier i do have a discount code for them not only do they sell this they have diffusers. I have one right here, which is Ambery Vanilla, which is like why I sell black opium. I absolutely love these. I have about three of these going in between my bedroom and my bathroom. They also sell candles. Um, I have one over here that's burning, so I don't want to pick it up. And I absolutely love their candles. They are two wick candles, and I absolutely love them. Just everything fragrances over there, and of course, I love them. I have a discount code, I will link them below. Please check them out. You can get them in Walmart, Amazon, but with my link below, it allows you to use a discount code. So I will go that route if I was you guys. Okay, <laughs> so thank you, Dossier, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back on hair perfume so you guys one reason why i love hair perfume because if you think about it when you're out in public where you anywhere and you go to hug somebody where does your face go well depending on how tall they are and how tall you are right here your hair is the first whiff of what people smell and of course you can put your regular perfume in your hair but according to the amount of but Mm, the amount of oils, alcohol, and all that that is in regular perfume might mess up your hairstyle or whatever. So just get you some little hair perfume, okay? I just love nestling in somebody's neck and like, ooh, they smell good. When you walk by, when the wind blow and your hair blow, that's the first thing that catches the wind. It just ties it all together. You want to smell good, but it got to be from head to toe, honey. It got to be from head to toe. It start with a shower, your lotions, your perfumes, your body butters, what's in your hair. I have literally been around people sometimes and could smell their hair. I have literally been the person you could smell their hair because, like, I wear wigs, so, um, oh, 
gosh, sometimes if I don't wash them prior to putting them on and they get wet, I get caught out in the rain. Child, I'm like, take me home. I don't want nobody thinking this is me. It is this wig. <laughs> um, same thing for if you club a lot or anything like that. Smoke getting your hair. Oh my gosh, I hate going to like bars and clubs, girl. I swear the smoke be getting my hair and my panties. I, I don't know where it came from, but I swear it do. And it's just so hard to get out and I be so irritated. So just get you some hair perfume to freshen up. Like I said, none of these are over. None are over a hundred bucks. Some of them start as low as 20 bucks. And it's just a way to build another collection. All right, this is my hair perfume tray right here. It's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. All perfumes do not make hair perfume. Mason Francis Kirk Dijon. Now, this right here is Oud Sad Mood. This is Oud Sad Mood. I will put the price of this across the screen. It is very reasonable because Mason Francis Kirk Dijon is very expensive. But to me, in my eyes, this hair mist, mist is very reasonable. But there's a problem here. This is still a full bottle. This is one of my newer hair mists. Um, I don't typically grab for Ooh Satin Mood that much. That's probably why this is full. But this video is reminding me that I need to use it right. Right? I need to get with it. I need to get with it. But this is a beautiful scent. I'm not really a big Ooh person. But this dry down to a powder. Unisex. Great. Showstopper. Um, beast. Beast. Beast mode fragrance. Okay? Two, three squares sprays that's all you need of this too um so i can't speak much about the hair mist but i can speak much about the brand of the hair mist so i know that this is a bank next up we have a la rose from the exact same brand this bottle looks full as well but i have used this a couple of times this is really a spring scent so that's why i haven't like reached for this one that much i remember wearing this last easter though i remember that and a la rose is just such a beautiful fragrance like it's so soft and springy and i'm not a rose person but the rose is just mixed so well in here with other blends i don't know what else is in here it's so beautiful it's so soft it's so airy so i absolutely love this fragrance so that's why i got the hair mist so i need to start using it more as well i kind of have this thing where i use my lower end ones because i be trying to save the ones that cost a lot but if i bought it i need to use it right right <laughs> so this one right here so this one right so this one right here is aqua universalis or universalis one of them this was gifted to me so the person who gifted this to me gifted me the laundry detergent the fabric softener the lotion i have the lotion to this but i don't have the perfume this is another oh that's good this i can see this on vacation this is like aquatic floral which is two scents that I typically stray away from. But they mix really good with this. So I haven't used this at all. That's why I just have to spray it. I don't have the scent to this. But like I said, it was gifted. So I look forward to using it. Yeah, I don't worry. We'll go get to the stuff I use in a minute. <laughs> Probably right now. <laughs> so you guys know if I have anything from this brand, I'm going to have Baccarat. And what I will say to Mr. Mason Francis Kirk Dijon in Paris do I need to pull up because why don't we have a gentle fluidy go hair mist why something else we need we need a grand sore hair mix like what are you waiting on like how did you determine like why would you make aqua universalis over gentle fluidy go so this is none other than Baccarat Rouge 540 maybe he should do the straight one too yeah, he should. Clearly, this one gets used. I'm not going to lie. This is the one I just grab for all the time. I just grab for this one all the time because I know it's going to, I know it's going to get some sh done. You know what I'm saying? I I just know. Everybody love this scent. All of these scents except Ally Rose I've showed you or Unisex. Ally Rose is very feminine. And <clears throat> it's just going to get it. Baccarat going to get it every time. It's sweet. It's elegant. It can be beast mode. It can be every day. It's, it's just going to get it. So if I recommend one from this line, this one going to be it. I have this on the tray, but we're going to skip over it because it's not even a hair mist. I actually got it from Timu and it's supposed to be like a YSL inspired scent, but it smells so much better than Leave to me. 
Oh, it smells so much better. Like I wish Libre or Libre, as y'all said, really smelled like this. Um, I wish it did. So I was like, I'm not gonna use it as a perfume because it came from Timu. I don't know what's in it. <laughs> I don't know what's in this. But I sprayed it in my wig, so I put it on my hair mist tray. If it's still available, I will link it, but I can't guarantee it. All right, but it smells awesome. So let's move it to my baby. This is Versace Dylan Purple. See, this thing is full too. This is such a great fruity everyday scent. Like, I be in the girls group on Facebook and stuff, and they love this scent, but I just be forgetting to grab for it all the time, even the actual fragrance. Um, this lunch, I had to get it because clearly I'm a purple lover. This was only like $35. No joke. I don't remember this being any more than $50. It was just as a small bottle, so it shouldn't be that expensive. But this smells so freaking good. Mm. Yeah, this smells so freaking good. So I have this one because, of course, I had to get the whole... Mm, 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 that smells good. I had to get the whole shebang when dealing purple lunch. All right. So this one right here is chance chanel chance so tender um the pink one you know there's a gold one there's a green one and there's a um gold green peach i had all the mugs i literally had every single last one of them and i just decided to keep this one and i really i'm really not a big fan of this one honestly y'all love it but i do use this hair mist a, a lot not a lot but yeah this is a lot for me um, this is just a sweet, this is the sweetest it's going to get with Chanel scents besides what we have coming up I'll show you. Um, it's a sweet, dainty Chanel fragrance. Everybody want a Chanel fragrance, but we don't want the number fives and nines that smell like Dorothy Blanche, Golden Girl, Neiman Marcus type. We don't want to smell like that, honey. I mean, they smell real rich, but if that's how rich smell, I don't want to smell like that, alright? So, that's this one right here. It's very flirty it's floral it's um it's just safe for chanel in the younger generation i will say that <laughs> so next let's move into this one right here this is versace bright crystal i always want to say yellow diamond can i get yellow diamond out of my mind <laughs> those who know no <laughs> now this was like forty dollars as well i've barely used this one bright crystal is like a great everyday floral scent um but yeah i was so mad when i got this from versace because look come on now versace why did y'all make this so dang cheap I could go and get some from Dollar Tree and don't do all this clacking and got me over here like, no, what are you doing? But <laughs> I guess it's a scent that matters. This one don't last that long. I will tell you that. Um, but if you like Bright Crystal, I'll grab it if I was you. Do you absolutely need this one? But if you like Bright Crystal, I would grab it if I was you. <laughs> so let's move back into something you can get from Neiman, Saks, Nordstrom's. This is this one was $90. I do remember that. Or $110. I'll say that. This is Tiziana Carenzi. Car <laughs> this is Tiziana Terenzi Cassiopeia. Now this fragrance is behees mode. It's tropical. It's fruity. If you have Herbapira, Cassiopeia, all of them kind of smell alike. You get what I'm saying? If you like that tropical, fruity vibe, this this for you right here. Sorry, guys. We ran out of memory. I have been working. Um, So, I always tell you guys, if you love Cassiopeia, and while I'm on her, same designer, Tinsy Ana Terenzi. This is Deluxe. <laughs> I hope this tag isn't showing in the video. I'm just have to put a little disclaimer because I don't be wearing a lot of this stuff. I just put it on this tops in a video. And why is it? Let me go back and look at my clips, girl. Because videos, I'm be like, but I ain't re-recording this video. <laughs> Y'all just gonna have to see the Shein tag. So if you love the fragrances. I love Deluxe because it reminds me so much of my favorite Gentle Fluidy Gold. It's just spicier and etc. Um, I love Cassiopeia because it just makes me feel so feminine and like a woman. If you can't afford the three, four hundred dollars for the fragrances, spend it.
spend that 110 on a hair mess. I, I promise you, I won't steer you wrong. I tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. Yeah. Yeah, just sit it on your perfume vanity like it's perfume. Nobody will never know but us. You got the same exact scent for a fraction of the price. Now, it might wear more like a, a wear, more like a, a body spray or something. Not as beast mode. You might have to reapply it, but $110 versus three, $400. Girl mad. So, before I go any further below the video, there will be a link that say hair perfume mentioned in the video. You just click that link and it'll take you to all of these I talked about, alright? And then I will try to individually list them for you guys in case you just want to go straight for the kill and get one. Now, baby, this is going to shock you guys because I don't like this fragrance. And I won't say I don't like it. I just feel like it's hyped up so much and it just doesn't give me what the hype is about but it is a good fragrance so this is none other than love don't be shy by killian and for me not to like it baby it's one of the most used ones on this tray right let me tell you why y'all love it y'all isn't anybody who come in contact with me and hug me go crazy I mean, go crazy, be trying to swallow me up. It, I guess it's just a sweet, this smells like, this has like a Dr. Pepper like smell to me. This has like a mint, like a church mint, but Smarties, can I say this all the time? You guys know those Smarties that come in a roll? Well, you know, when people try to dupe those or make the fake version of, of it, that chalky candy. You remember the dipping candy where you dip this white stick in the Kool-Aid like stuff? It smells like that stick. Do I need to keep going? You remember the fake cigarettes we used to do? It smelled like those that were candy. Yeah, that's what this smells like. It's like an artificial candy to me, but everybody loves this scent. I looked up and got this at the cosmetic company store for like 80 bucks. But I don't think it's the, it, it can't be that cheap because the whole cosmetic company store is like 40% off or something. So you might not find it for that cheap, but it's worth it if you can find it. Because old people love it. And when I say people, I mean anywhere. If I go to a networking event, if I go speak on a panel somewhere, anybody who hug me, they're like, what are you wearing? This is the top one. This probably be this probably is the top one on the tray that I get the most compliments uh, out of. I'm not gonna say it's the top one that I love, but when it comes to compliments, this that girl. Now let's get on what I love. Now this is my favorite Chanel scent. <laughs> this is none other than the Coco Mademoiselle. So Coco Mademoiselle hair mist no longer come in a container like this anymore so i can't wait till i use this one up so i can get the new container actually no i don't care what container it's in this is the older container so if you buy it and it don't look like this i'm just explaining that now because a lot of you guys look a lot of you guys write me so much be like i ordered that and this and this is mine fake <laughs> you know companies do change their containers their fonts their writing um, the juice do change. A lot of people do that with Gentle Fluidy Go. It come purple and it oxidizes to brown. So if you guys get one that's purple, you'll say, it's mine fake. Or if you get one that's brown, no, it's, it's called oxidized. When the sun hit it, the heat hit it or whatever. Especially if something has vanilla in it and Gentle Fluidy Go does. Um, the vanilla turns it, um, it oxidizes and turns it brown, okay? The makeup even do that, chat. I get the wrong foundation and it oxidizes. You'll be three, four, five colors dark by the end of the night. So, this is Mademoiselle. I think um, Chanel hair mist run around 90 bucks, which is really, really good. So, if you can, like, get them from the Chanel website because you get a cute box. I actually have one right here. You get a cute box. It's wrapped with a bow that says Chanel. Um, it has samples. You get the whole experience. They're not, not like Nordstrom's. Nordstrom's just going to throw your shit in a box. Sorry, y'all. I get upset every time I think about that because I spend big money at Nordstrom's and they just be throwing my stuff in a box literally they threw my $500 bottle of gentle fluidy go in a box no tissue paper no bubble wrap no samples so I said all that to say 
get the experience get it from chanel all right it's gonna be the same price mm, i just love this it's sweet it's I, I just don't even know how to describe it it's just a sweet feminine smell to me i don't even know what's in this um yeah it's just my favorite Chanel scent, and this is one of the ones that I highly recommend. Here's another one that I highly recommend, and I haven't been seeing this. Hold on, let me adjust myself for the crybabies in the comments. Ooh, that's what I get. <laughs> but I haven't been seeing this on Sephora, but that's where I got it. But I'm quite sure you can get it directly off the Kylie website. This is Deja Vu White Flowers 57. Now, this is my, this is what the bottle looked like. And I will admit that I understand why some of these brands put hair mist in aerosol cans like this. Um, but I don't like it because I can't tell when I'm getting low. Just that simple. I can't tell when I'm getting low. But I get that they won't like the hair can, I mean the hairspray can type look. But I need to know when I'm getting low. It's I can hear that it's a lot still in here. But yeah. I will also say this is my only hair mist that smells nothing like the perfume. I don't know what happened. Mona. Is that her name? What happened? But it smells exceptionally good. But it don't. So, so if you're going to get it. Like I'm going to pair this with my perfume. It don't smell like it at all. At all. But this is a great buy. Now this is probably one of my higher ones as well. Besides the Casio Peel ones. Um, this is Roja 51. That's what it looked like right there. Now, of course, I got this perfume for my birthday one year. The perfume, um, one version of it comes in a purple bottle. I'm sorry. I, I should have been showing you guys the perfume. I'll pull them out. I, I'll insert them. One um, comes in a purple bottle. It's a little cheaper. And then one comes in a clear bottle. And it's almost like $500. This one right here. This hair mist is like $110 as well. And this is $51. And this is another one. Where when I wear it. I get a ton of compliments. What is that smell? It's not coconut. It just smells good to me. But it is a little aged. It is a little mature. I can't see a teenager or anything liking this scent. But this hair mist is hard to find. And this bottle is wonky too. Like a lot of times when I spread, it gets all of my nails and go everywhere. So that might be why it's hard to find. They probably took it down um, to redo the bottle. But when I run out of this, I would definitely repurchase it. It's called the Supreme Hair Mist because it is good. It's good. It gives me so many compliments. This one and Love Don't Be Shy is running neck to neck when it comes to compliments. People love them. And I would highly recommend this one. I really, really would. So let's get into a shoe, y'all. <laughs> y'all know what this is. Everybody loves this fragrance, right? It is Carolina Herrera Good Girl. I think you can get this one at Ulta. Very reasonably priced, like 80 bucks. It comes off like this. I think if you get like the one ounce and etc. of this perfume, it come off like this. Otherwise, you can spray it directly out the shoe. But this is safe. We all love good girl, right? So why not have the hair mist? So I have used quite a bit of it. Excuse that. I'm having lung service done. I have used quite a bit of it. Um, I do really, really love it. And I think this is one of the top ones you guys should reach for as well. So we are down to two. Guys, I think this is the quickest perfume video I've ever done. But y'all just need the information. We ain't got to talk all day, right? Y'all know Delina is that girl. Now, I'm on my second can of Delina hair mist. I just use this one a lot. We all know Delina is floral. Um, Delina is just, it's lychee or lychee. Delina is, I wish they would come out with a Delina exclusive hair mist. But this one will get the job done. When I wear a Delina exclusive, Delina, Delina La Rose, whatever. I spray the same hair mist with all three of them because tomato, tomato, potato, potato. All right. So this one ranges for 90 bucks, I want to say, which is really, really good because this is a niche fragrance. Um, But here's another one. This dang on can. <laughs> That's the only thing I don't like about this. It's like I get, I understand the concept that go with it, but 
Can the clan, can be clear? I guess it can't cause it's metal, huh? Yeah, I guess there ain't no way around this, huh? My boy. Hmm. Let's see how long they stay in this bottle though. Let's see because child, I be stressing. And it, it used to be to the point where I would literally keep a backup bottle of this because I never knew when I was gonna run out. But it is what it is. And yeah, this is one of my favorites. Of course. So last over here on this tray is none other than Jada <laughs> by Christian Dior. You know Dior is just, I mean Jador is just safe. The original. This is floral as well. This is just classic. This is the It Girl scent from back in the day before perfume was really, really, really popping. And it's just safe too. I think this was around 80 bucks as well. And it literally almost looks exactly like the perfume, right? You <laughs> see what I mean? Like, if you can't, if you don't want to pay no $150 and stuff for this perfume, $80. Smells just as great. I'm telling you, every single hair perfume that I showed you guys smell exactly like the perfume. Um, except that Kylie one. So, you, you win in either way it go. Alright? So, if you have any questions about hair perfume, leave them below. If you have if you have any information about hair perfume that I didn't cover, leave it below in the description box. Like I said, everything that I've talked about will be linked below. Um, do me a favor before you leave out, make sure you are a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll know when I load a video. Even if you feel like you're a subscriber, girl, double check because, baby, you two be playing with me. They be playing with me. And I'll see y'all on my next video. All right? Bye.